All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another undisputed video and another request coming in. Uh, this one's coming in from. I apologise, mate, because I'm about to completely butcher your username. Uh, Cheeky or Cheeky OK Junior? That's that's what I'm going with, and I apologise if I fucking got it wrong. But he's requested uh, Roy Jones Junior versus Sugar Ray Leonard. I think the lowest we can do this is middle. 91 for Roy. There's the stats. So you've probably noticed there's not as been a regular undisputed content on the channel. Uh, that's because, you know, if you've been following this game, the last updates kind of fucked everything up in terms of the AI. Uh, the AI now plays like shit. It's so fucking defensive. So... Uh, Pemby's 4K Gamer World, bless him, he did a, a video recently where he painstakingly uh, showed the differences. He had to sit down and record a bunch of matches, bless him, to re recording this garbage. Uh, but he showed the differences between the, you know, the, the sort of lower difficulties and how the AI behaves right up until, you know, Undisputed Difficulty. So if you're playing on something like Undisputed Difficulty or Pro, you know, the two highest settings as we see there, you know, goes pro, undisputed, rolls back around to amateur. If you're playing on, on either of these two, the AI is going to be extremely defensive. So, I mean, all you literally have to do is walk towards it, throw a jab, and then it, the AI will back away and shell up. And then you can just sort of keep doing that, really. And the AI won't throw a shot at you. You can deplete its block, no problem, and just knock it down as often as you want. Same as pro, uh, it's the same kind of shit, really. Same, same uh you know, tendencies that it'll do. It's almost identical on intermediate and lower. The only difference being is the AI blocks a little bit less, but it still sort of behaves the same. So if you start pressuring it, um, it will, it'll back up and start being defensive, or it it won't block as many of the punches. So this has had a few a huge knock-on effect to sort of like how my gameplays look, because I like to like you know. Make the gameplay somewhat exciting. I don't want to be Welcome sort of to too simulated where it's trying to be like go, very and slow, methodic methodical and boring. I mean, if I want to see stuff like that, I'll just watch a real mine, boxing match. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm only joking there. I'm not saying every it's boxing Roy match is boring. But fucking hell, you get some boxing matches and it just fucking puts me to sleep. And what I'm getting at is like it's... And he'll be staring across I don't know, it's just not fucking... Himself, Sugar Ray it, it's, it's, it's not been as enjoyable to play this game. It, it's really not. It's Roy you know. Jones Jr., one of the greatest so my gameplays have took a huge time. knock, unfortunately. Finest, and as a result, we've had to knock the difficulty down to intermediate. Classes. I mean, I was actually going to put this, this gameplay on um, Undisputed and just beat it anyway, but not using the sort of block-breaking method that I showed in the uh, Nigel Ben video. This is going to be one hell of a fight. Just sort of one-two it to death, you know what I mean? And it, it just can't defend itself eventually. You're just going to beat it normally, but it, it's just so defensive and boring. Like, even the... It's so defensive to the point that even the crowd in the arena, like, doesn't get involved in the match. It's just dead silence. <laughs> like, it's fucking weird. In the red corner, from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Hiding out of the blue corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray. Leonard. What a pleasure it is to be here. So what I'll probably do, I'll, I'll just I'll do this video on uh, intermediate, so and then so I've got a couple more requests to fulfill. Even though I'm not enjoying this game after the last update, and I probably won't be playing all that much of it to be honest with you until earlier in the new year. Um, I've just got a couple more request videos to fulfill. Even though I'm not obligated to do it, like, you know, the quest videos, are, you know, no one's paid any money, but just because someone's asked for it, I thought to do request, I've got this one, and then the uh, one from Rajon Stu Rage and Stooley, with the, uh, he wants Sonny Edwards and Charlie Edwards, and then there was uh, someone's asked for Tommy Morrison versus Tyson Fury, which I'll probably get round to doing as well, and then that's it then, there won't be many, um, many requests. 
because I don't have the desire to sort of play this game in its current state, unfortunately, after being a sort of long-time supporter of this game. But it's got to the point now where it's become, in my eyes, un unplayable or unfun to play against the AI. And, you know, the AI is all I give a shit about. I don't play online. I've got no interest in playing against cheaters or, you know, spammers or any of that shit. I'm sure you get a genuine sort of sim players out there i've got no doubt of that you know they do exist but i don't trust people to play normally so i don't play online and my online days and games are done anyway i'm nearly 40 years old now so no online games for old liver shot anymore i know um, northern smog asked me recently could i get some online fights going in requests but i don't do online play mate it's just i just don't not 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 even in this game i just don't find online play fun anymore i did years ago in my 20s and Counter stuff like that in my 30s but move first and then we'll strike like a snake. i just haven't got Keep the patience for it they have got great ring guy so even on this on this difficulty intermediate the, the ai's being extremely passive look it's it's doing its back back and forward shit. it's that it's stepping in hands. it'll come in and do this Throw a couple of shots, just random combinations. Just um, it does seem to be doing way more damage than you. Like, it'll uncork a couple of p shots to the body if it gets in close. And if it lands a couple of them, it'll have your health in the in the orange or, or worse in the red if, if, if you take too many of those hits. But it definitely seems to be doing more damage than the player. I don't know why that is. What do we expect um, to see here in round two? If you cast your mind back for anyone who's been following this game for, a, you know, its development, there was an update months back. I can't remember exactly remember which one it was, but there was another change to the AI, and it, it sort of um, it fucked the AI up previously, and it was only on like a certain difficulty as well. If anyone remembers that, it was sort of the the higher difficulties that kind of suffered for it, and it's it's kind. This is what's happened again, really. It's sort of the same thing all over again. See, I'm being nowhere near as aggressive as, like, I was in the night. The, the Nigel ben, ben video I did was just to prove a point on how easily you could just fuck the AI up with it, with it being so defensive. So I was just, do, like, doing that on purpose, really. That's not how I normally fight, just stepping in like that, doing fucking bond twos. So yeah, you'd be seeing more um, a lot of people love watching fighters in this more UFC 5 content as in a replacement for this game. Like I say, I don't really fancy touching this until sometime in the new year when they either revert the changes back or they, they bring out another update and, and change the current state of this game. Um, so it's, it's going to be UFC 5 content, uh, content and I've been thinking about doing a, another Fight Night Champion Legacy run. I might do a lightweight run this time, so I've been thinking about that. And especially since, you know, the, we were due to be playing the, the career mode for this game now, but because it, it got pushed back to next year. So so we can have like a boxing career mode on the channel in some fashion. I might, uh, I might go for a fight night champion legacy mode. Perfect counter shot. Yeah, it's a shame really because uh, I've been pumping the content out for this game since around October-ish. It's almost every day uploading videos, not necessarily uploading an undisputed video because I've been, you know, alternating between this and you know UFC Five. But I was I was excited to be playing the game, so, uh, you know, playing against the AI. I, I you know, got into a groove doing it, uploading regularly and. All that has just con just been sucked out of the, <laughs> been sucked out of me basically because of the the update and the state this game is in now. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Out of the way of that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. That one lands. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed, Sugar Ray Leonard... Oh, big straight down the middle there. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. See, if you can look in front of the camera now, the cameraman is still actually there blocking the camera, but they just made him transparent. So they didn't move him as such, they didn't change his location. They just made him way more transparent as the camera spins around. I mean, either or, I guess it solved the issue of the camera being blocked. That left hook of Roy Jones is weird. <laughs> like, I know he won't cap his own left hook, but... It, it comes out really weird like it doesn't always connect when you throw it and it, it sort of it, the fist sort of falls before the opponent's head like it, it doesn't track the head properly sometimes and I don't know if that's something that they're aware of but yeah the left hook on Roy Jones it, it's got some weird behaviour to it sometimes like the normal standing left hook The AI would fucking the ridiculous block. It. There we go. Get the fuck down there. Right, straight, left hook down the pipe. Oh, and then the left hook. And Sugar Ray got fucking cycling shorts on underneath his shorts. What was all that? Like. Black weird texture there on his upper thighs. Two, three, four, so they'll make it up, and this fight continues. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hook him to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Let's talk about Jones Jr. Let's see how the... Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down. Don't let him bully him Leon. Keep letting the Speaking of Leon, we've got the, uh, the next UFC pay-per-view coming up soon. Leon Edwards versus Colby stopped. Covington. Looking forward to that. I'll be doing some uh, prediction videos. Coming up for that soon, who I think is going to win on the main card. Good counter punching for both these fighters. So keep an eye out for that. Out that if you're following the UFC that. stuff, oh, nice combinations there from Roy. Oh, and a little Apparently no a jab so causes Sugar Ray to take the knee. It's another thing the AI is doing a lot now since this update. It's it's taken the knee a lot. Exchanges from both men in this round. Solid punch. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. 
But the AI with a nice little uppercut there as it stepped off. With a couple of jabs after it. But when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. Yeah, but this is. Uh, got to use brain there. This sort of change to the AI. It's definitely took all the sting out of my gameplays. It's like. It's totally changed how, like. Throw with that uppercut. I mean, I can still play the way I want, but, I mean, you just be looking at this. Just the AI standing there blocking everything that I'm doing. Another scoring shot. And I know if you sat at home and you've got like a boxer's head on your shoulders and you're thinking, oh, but Liver, you're just coming in with the one two. You've got a, you've got to sort of fake low and then and go to the jab to the body and come up top. Stop, like you're applying real world boxing logic to this game. It doesn't work. Like, it doesn't fucking work. This game, like real world logic in this game and boxing logic don't fucking line up. It should do, like you know, because if you're making a fucking boxing game, you you want to be apl applying like real world sources things to the game to a certain extent as, as much as you can well, it doesn't matter if you faint your way to the body and come up top it's like it's just the ai is just too defensive now they, that's that's a, a developer choice that they tried out to make it block more that's nothing to do with me not being able to adjust or not using real world tactics the, a, the, the, the devs fighter, just took the, you know, the, whatever code and that they, they used to increase the AI's block frequency, and just get they just apart, changed it, so it does it more. That, it's as simple as that. That's all they've done. Like this. They doesn't matter what strategy nightmare. you come in with. Oh, I'll fucking, I'll show them the left hand and I'll fucking step off to the left and go to the lit. The AI, AI will just go, block, 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 block. That's what it'll do. Maybe not as much on medium because it's... Oh, sorry, on intermediates, because like as, as, as you go higher up the difficulties, it'll block pretty much most of what you're doing. But because this is on intermediates, some of these shots are getting through. Some nice exchanges but if it was on undisputed or pro, you would nowhere near be getting through as much. Match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. See, look at that. One body shot. That was a power body shot. And there's the second one connected. And the AI has got me in red already. So it definitely is doing way more damage than the player. Like, way more. When you're a power puncher, you're not. This round's still up for I think grabs. Penby noted that in his video as well recently. The AI, um, you know, hitting a lot harder than the player. And the AI also fucking. Eh, sorry, the AI. The recent update also did dirty to fucking Larry Holmes, who was um, he was an awesome boxer to use in this game. He felt great, and the, the update has just made him not fun to use now. Just feels like every other. Piece of shit in this game. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Why aren't they defending? There's Roy's left hook being all weird again. The bravery being Just shown doesn't want to connect. It's got like a weird detection on it, on like when you follow it with certain punches. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. Sorry, when you throw it after certain punches, it's, it's got like a weird sort of like... I don't know. Fuck knows what's going on with this fucking game. <laughs> Fuck knows. I'll be very surprised if this game actually makes it to completion. You know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if this game got shit canned halfway through its fucking development. I just wouldn't be surprised if it did. It probably won't happen like that, you know, because... I just don't think... I think it will see completion eventually, but... I'll, I'll be totally, like, non-surprised if they did shit can it. I'll be like, well, it was kind of expected to, really. You know, they were. I know it's their first game, 
as a development studio. And it's just coming up with, against so many fucking issues. doubt about who won that last round let's see what he has for us here in the next one see see the left hook there like i threw that is at his head after he missed there because he was wide open and jones just kind of like half ass like threw it out in front like he was like a little shadow box and left hook like it's weird it's got like a weird distance on it where royal just throw it out like just in front of his own chest i don't know i don't really see people talking about that and you know i think because everyone's under the oh roy mocapped his own punches there's, there's nothing wrong with the punches if roy, roy mocapped them yeah there's, there's probably not anything wrong with them but it's it's how they've been like coded to land or like the hitbox on whatever i don't know something's not working right with some of these punches and it's been the case for fucking months it's not just roy's left hook one of these fighters want to see the judges scorecards it's weird hitbox like there again look at that like there's nowhere near his head perfectly matched skill for skill when you throw it after like the right straight or something like that it just that notch above you so i fucking pathetic both of them more than happy I mean, this update has completely fucked the AI. I mean, look at it. I'm falling rounds, asleep recording this fucking gameplay. It's fucking boring. I might not even do the other fucking... I, think this boxer has decided I, can walk I might just I bail on I've seen some the uh, request videos ju and, and just pick it back up when in the new year, this game, when, they're, when they release another update, because this is un unbearable to play for me. This is putting me to fucking sleep. Like, and I'm trying to box, I'm trying, trying to make things happen, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, like, oh, to fucking go. throw a jab, throw to the body, get him, get him blocking low a little bit. And he's just fucking standing there. So it doesn't really matter what fucking difficulty you put it on, really. It's the same shit, it's just some... The less of the difficulty, they just won't block more, so you might be able to get a few more punches in. That's it. It's still fucked. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. And he just missed with that left jab. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. I mean, I've been doing all the attacking here, so I'll just stand here for a minute and just wait for the AI to fucking feel like it wants to do something. You've seen all the famous okay, that's it. Movies, the little combo from the AI. Scenes, now he's knackered and he's going to gonna stand back. Down to who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can just they wait for it to, 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 to go again? Early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You've got skill. you got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. That left-handed jab doesn't quite score. Tried to score with the jab. I mean, <laughs> look at it. It's, for, it's not doing that. I'm just going to stand here now for the remainder of this round and see if it actually does anything. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some a very competitive <laughs> round with ten Not seconds left. Not a lot of left. punch output. No shit, Todd. I mean, look at this fucking bullshit. Look at it. Let's talk about Jones Jr. And there's the bell for round ten. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp.
when you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with him? Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have the quick burst, boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way to... They're always looking oh, for that KO. little cheeky uppercut. An upset right here. And Sugar Ray just decides to just here and try and have a minute. The did, <laughs> it's like, oh, just, just, just hang on a minute, mate. Just, just give me a minute. Fucking hell. Quick punch scores. Nice punch. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? It didn't take much there to have me in red again with nice the body health. That See that? It was like one decent body shot. And my health was in there. I know I've took some shots to the body, but... The AI is definitely hitting harder. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Jones Jr. And there's the bell for round 11. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so Ooh, relaxed. a little right straight to the that's body there. As the AI is. All the way through a fight. Using its stamina up. Try and target that body. Oh, big up right over the top from Sugar Ray. Just going to pressure him now for see what happens. See how it behaves. The has not shown us much defense at all. And I threw a right, right straight to the body there, but that actually counted as head nice damage. For so, did you see it just gave him orange like health? Both men back to the back body. For just a moment. Todd, we see much, much more, much, much better. We've been spoiled. I'm not being unfair. I'm not being unfair saying it's a little boring. It's not boring. We've probably just been spoiled. No, it is boring, Johnny. It's fucking... Call it what it is, mate. It's fucking boring. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit... If you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Jones Jr. On to the 12th. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Missed him with that uppercut. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You'd like to see more jabs. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done it in the ring with fights like that, and you... Sugar Ray Leonard Days! <laughs> Look at Leonard just doing the fucking... You know when someone fakes using an elevator and they just disappear off the bottom of the frame? It's just fucking what he did there.
Another TKO win here, Johnny. Oh, that's it. It's over. Fight's over. Well, thanks very much for your request, TKO K Jr. Sorry about this gameplay, mate. It's got nothing to do with me, though. The game has gone through an update lately, and it's just turned the AI to absolute shit. So, I know I've got a couple more requests in the pipeline, but I think I'm going to put them on hold till, I don't know, sometime in the new year now, really. Because um, I don't really fancy touching this game from now until it gets changed in some way because I just don't find any enjoyment out of it and it just makes me miserable to play really so rather than play a game like that that makes me unhappy and bear in mind I've supported this for a long long time but I think I just need to take a step away from it for a little while and uh, see if they decide to if they want to make it better really but for now I think I'm kind of done with it for the time being all right well thanks very much for watching take care and I'm going to leave it there take care everyone and I'll see you in the next one